Now that the weather is warming up and people are going out more, the risk of contracting disease is on the rise, including diseases carried by ticks. Now scientists say tick season is actually starting earlier and lasting longer. For more, we're joined by Brian Backinson. He is an assistant professor at the University of Albany School of Public Health, focusing on epidemiology and biostatistics. Brian studies tick-borne illnesses like Lyme disease. Okay, Brian, what does tick season normally look like in terms of when it begins? Until about uh, 10 or 15 years ago, tick season usually started towards the end of April and would end around Thanksgiving. Um, but over the past several years now, as we've had warmer and warmer summers and summers that last longer and springs that start earlier, uh, that's stretched out now into typically into middle of March and can go as far as Christmas here in the Northeast. Um, mm. In the, the rest of the United States, you can see ticks year round. Typically, as, as long as it's above 40 degrees, uh, there'll be ticks out. Um, so let's just take a scenario where ticks are in your area six or eight months of the year. Is there a, a period of time where they're more active and you're at greater risk or is it or is it pretty constant? The, the main thing is not is a, a time period when a certain life stage of the tick is active, which is the nymphal life stage. And most of that runs from May through July. Okay. Um, and that's when the ticks are the, are the smallest and they're infected. So typically what happens is uh, the longer a tick is attached to you, the, the higher likelihood it is of giving you whatever it is it may carry. And the smaller that tick is, the less likely it is you are to find it and be able to pull it off. Okay, so let's take that a step further. What are the most common symptoms of Lyme disease, especially if they're so small that you can't see them? Yeah, the biggest thing with Lyme disease is this bullseye rash. Um, it's a rash that doesn't always look just like a bullseye, but it's a red patch, but it's relatively large. It's usually at least two inches or so across. Um, oftentimes it doesn't hurt, it doesn't itch. Oftentimes it's just there. Um, but headache, fatigue, muscle ache, chills, uh, that rash we're usually seeing about 70%, maybe three quarters of the cases, but sometimes if it's square in the middle of your back or behind a knee or in your scalp, you may never notice it. So it's one of those things that if you have uh, cold-like symptoms in the summer and you spend a lot of time outdoors, it's something that you should talk to your doctor about. With this extended tick season, what can people do to keep themselves safe? Yeah, the main thing that we always talk about is trying to prevent yourself from getting bitten in the first place. Um, and there are things you can do like wearing uh, long sleeve pants and, and uh, long sleeve shirts. Easier said than done, of course, when it's, course. it's very, very warm out. Um, <laughs> That's right. But, uh, but you know, the light colored clothes are the way to go. Uh, it's much easier to see a tick crawling on you if you're wearing khakis as opposed to if you're wearing jeans. Um, we always tell people that if they, you know, as soon as they go home, you know, do a tick check. If you check yourself every 24 hours when you're getting into the shower or getting into the bathtub, and give yourself a good once over, you can really, you know, find these ticks and, and pull them off. Using repellents is something that um, people ought to consider, um, particularly if they're going to be in the woods or, or uh, spend an awful lot of time gardening. And there are things that you can do, um, you know, treat your gardening shoes, your hiking right. shoes, your hiking pants. And even then, as soon as you come home, if you throw those into a hot dryer for about 10 minutes, they'll kill any ticks that are on them. Um, the heat and the and the and the the, the the dryness there is is enough to kill a tick. Just uh, real quick, because we don't have a lot of time. If you do find what you think is a tick bite, can you do something uh, immediately to reduce the risk of having that infection? The main thing you should do is you should check with your doctor. Um, if you find a tick on you, we want you to pull a tick off and 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 remove it the right way, which is usually with a fine pair a pair of fine point tweezers. Don't wait to have it get removed. Um, a fine pair, point pair of tweezers, get as close to the skin as you possibly can, but gently and firmly sort of pull straight up. That tick will pop out. You can save it if you want, um, provide it to your doctor, but basically keep an eye on the area where the tick was. Uh, look for that rash. And again, right. if you get any okay. symptoms over the next couple of weeks, go see your doctor. Brian Backinson, thanks for your expertise. Thank you.